What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel, man. Today we are in tune for another very interesting topic of conversation, man. Listen. Look, bro. I came across this picture right here on my Instagram timeline, and I found it way too interesting to not make a video on. I mean, as a father, how do you feel comfortable posting pictures like this with your teenage son? You get what I'm saying? Like, I understand that there's a there's, there's a fatherly love that you may have for your child. And hell, I'm not a father yet, so I may not even understand. I don't think anybody understands why Tom Brady is doing this right here, honestly speaking. But we have this video right here. Apparently, there's an entire history of the way that he kisses his son and, and the way that they express their love. And it's very, very questionable. So we're going to be speaking about it today. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe. But let's get into today's video, bro. All right, so recently, Tom Brady, one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history and football history in general, unless you're from somewhere outside of America where you call soccer football, like, come on, people, get with the times. But anyway, Tom Brady has recently been getting backlash online from people for releasing a photo where he's being kind of weird with his son. His son is sitting on his lap, and Tom Brady has his eyes closed and is kissing his son on the back of his neck. I'm not going to lie, it looks kind of weird at face value. And as a straight man with high testosterone and a not so tight relationship with his father, looking at this photo is kind of making me uncomfortable. And you know, it's not the first time that Tom Brady has been known for this kind of behavior and I'm not making any moral judgments. I'm just trying to report on the occurrence. Now, here, as you can see in this video, is his son the same one that we just saw in that video? However, he's like two years younger in this video, and you're gonna see that this is not the first time something like this has happened. Jack, everything comes at a cost, bud. So yeah, him and his son seem to be very close, and you know, if you thought that was the last kiss while he's getting rubbed down by his masseuse, Think again. The second kiss shared by father and son prompted tweets from viewers <laughs> using words like very disturbing and uncomfortably long. He calls his boy back for a second kiss and a- Bro, let's be real. This type of dynamic, the father and son relationship that they have is so interesting that it made the news. Like, like it's on CBS New York. Like, do you guys even understand? That was a very long- kiss between a father and a son maybe at a younger age maybe around the time of infancy this type of kiss would be acceptable i i completely understand that but my thing is like at what age does it get a little too weird like at what age do you stop kissing your your son on the lips tom brady like that's very very confusing to me at that the first picture he looked like he was about maybe 14 15 years old and you're kissing him on his neck while he's sitting in your lap that's very that's i don't know it kind of rubs me the wrong way. And I have a very loving relationship with my father. You know what I mean? Very respectful relationship. I couldn't see myself kissing my father on the lips, bro. Past the age of four or five. It's longer one at that. And you can see that his son is very uncomfortable with this kind of behavior. You know, wiping his lips after the fact. And, you know, at that age, you know, it, it's yeah. okay, I guess, for a father to kiss his son on the cheek or on the forehead. You know, typically your mom would kiss you on the lips, right? Or something like that because, you know, that's your mom. But I'm not going to lie. I'm that, not going to sugarcoat it. I find mother's, that... Mother's kissing on the lips is kind of weird to me too, bro. It's like, those are your parents. Kind of behavior... Like, those are acts of, like, kissing on the lips is, like, an act of intimacy. Like, I kiss my girl on the lips before I'm about to, you know what I'm saying, provide her with the, you know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> look, that, like, I don't think you should be kissing your parents on the lips past a certain age. Just weird. And like I said before, I'm not going to really put a moral judgment on it. I'm not going to say it's good or bad. But I personally, in my humble opinion, finds it to not be something that he's comfortable with. I'm not saying he is or is not, but based on what I just saw, he was wiping his lips after kissing his father on the lips and um, it didn't seem like he was really comfortable with it. And in going back to the Instagram post we That's just saw, crazy, you can see that in the next slide, his son, who is 13 years old right now, is also sitting on his dad's lap in some kind of cool chair, old. you know, relaxing in the sun. I'm not sure if they're on vacation or not, but, you know, they're having a very uh, loving father and son kind of bond bonding time and here you can see some of the responses from people on twitter saying bro no fucking way what is this shit his kid is about to get his driver's license and is still sitting in his dad's lap getting kisses and then another person said it's only weird because y'all are making it weird um what 
Now that's a slippery slope because you could literally apply that to any kind of weird pedophilic behavior between a parent and their child. You could literally have your weird uncle touching you in a sexual way, like, yikes. But they go on to say that it's not what we were raised or what our culture is. Um, just because it's a part of somebody's culture does not mean that it's a good attribute of that culture. Many cultures- like there, are, are, there are a lot of cultures, a lot of certain Hispanic cultures as well. Um, that they participate in like cousin relationships. Like they'll reproduce with their own cousins. Now, do y'all find that to be a little weird? That's a bit extreme, but don't y'all find that to be a little weird regardless of the cultural accepting of what that like what that relationship entails? Like that's your cousin. That's that's my uncle's daughter that I'm literally participating in coitus with. You get what I'm saying? That's a little bit weird. It's a little bit out of the normal. Not even normal. It's weird, bro. Regardless if that's like the culture. He's a 13-year-old boy. Around this time, like that's when guys are starting to look at women in a different light. You know what I mean? Like developing hormones and testosterone and stuff like that. It's kind of weird to still be kissing your father and sitting in his lap calling him daddy. Honestly. The world participate in very bad practices that harm children. But anyways, he goes on to say, and he doesn't mean it in any weird way, like how some people are viewing it. That's normal for their family. Stop making it weird. Okay, fair enough. But I am also entitled to my opinion, my opinion when I say that this is something that I wouldn't personally do to my future son in that manner. Like, okay, if I'm hanging out with my little boy and I kiss him on the neck and just keep him moving, that's one thing. But it's another thing when we're just chilling by the poolside yeah, kinda, on a kinda. pool chair and he's sitting on my lap and then I decide to kiss him on the back of his neck while he's holding the phone and we're taking a selfie and then I decide to post that to Instagram. Like... I'm sorry, but this just, it kind of reminds me of the whole D Wade and his son and the way that he kind of groomed his son into some kind of weird, you know what, I'm not going to even say it, but all I'm going to say is that a lot of parents don't understand the kind of influence they have on their children. I mean, as I recall, there's a specific word a lot of you like to use for situations like this, and it starts with a G and ends with a grooming. And I'm not saying that it is or isn't, I'm just saying that it's kind of giving me groomer vibes. And the fact that in the caption of this photo, it says, love this boy with a heart emoji i mean it's just to any other person outside that's, of that's, tom brady's that's immediate normal. family or friend group this to say that you love your son is kind of weird especially in american culture and the way the boy is smiling in the photo and tom is just like enjoying it he has his eyes closed this is the kind of photo that you would take with your girl or your wife i Dang mean flip shit. the genders over if this was his daughter Dang what shit. would people be saying this would probably be just as weird having your daughter sit in your lap and kissing her while taking a selfie on the back of her neck like i don't know i don't have children yet but i'm just i'm just trying to imagine if i would do this or not and i i genuinely think i would not but i will make the disclaimer and say that maybe this is just a part of his culture and his family customs maybe there's nothing to it and it is just a father showing love to his son but i will say that not everything has to be posted to the internet like we get it you love your son and we've seen videos like of you this? kissing your son on the lips before and you clearly love your children and that's that right there is kind of crazy <laughs> That right there is a little too... That's, that's a little wild. And, you know, Tom has clearly been doing this kind of stuff for... So like at, at this age, it's acceptable. He's a young three-year-old, four-year-old, maybe five years old. It's understandable, bro. Man, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this right here. I find it very, very um, weird. And I don't, I don't want to assume... You guys know I speak about a lot of things being pushed on today's media. And I don't want to assume that... Tom Brady is kissing his son on the neck for the acceptance of pedo, pedo you know what I'm saying, behavior at all. I, I really don't want to make that type of accusation. It is a father and son relationship, and I don't want to criticize, judge, but that just to me is very, very weird, honestly speaking. But look, bro, I'm in this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe, and I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.